Okay, YouTube, I'm back with the third episode of Catherine. It's taking significantly longer than I actually redo these recordings than I thought because I've had so much going on in my life. It is crazy. But I'm back now, so let's go ahead and do this. Now I'm going to start recording these significantly more frequently as well and uploading them just as frequently as well. And I just said as well twice. That's a bit of an error. So I skipped past everything, but Catherine, his real girlfriend, Catherine, the first Catherine, is pregnant. So now he's like freaking out about being a dad while simultaneously he's cheating on her. He's a real dick, isn't he? We're going to talk to this guy. applications from the general public for these space tours? way too much. With my paycheck, I can't even afford a down payment. Boy, do I have a deal for you. I'd rather put all of my savings into lottery tickets than invest in one of your crazy schemes. <laughs> so they're talking about, um, well, in this reality that they have, you know, public space fights. You can go to space for 50 grand. And I don't know what actually happens there. And that is actually one of the alternate endings is that he, you know, buys the ticket and goes to space. Life's all about timing, huh? Not planning out your life ahead of time's a waste of effort. None of us have the future we thought we would when we were kids. All we can do is move along. Oh, Vincent's stealing your line, Reverend Johnny. Hey, I'm just a stray sheep in the field of life, too, you know. Uh, now that's Vince. Gee, I never thought you'd be one. I can't believe it myself, either. Looks like it's gotten real for you, huh? You two have been... Congrats on having a kid! Let's do something! It's not for sure yet, she said... But she wouldn't tell you unless she was really sh... They're gonna do the right thing. I, I know. What are you upset over? You wanna meet my parents and ask about how they got married? I go back home and drink some strawberry milk, kid. <laughs> Come on, why you gotta go there? <laughs> I like strawberry milk. Okay. So I've mentioned before that the waitress, the redhead waitress over there, ends up hooking up with this guy here. And you think it's the other way around. It is not. And I believe the guy in the hat, um, he also ends up in the stray sheep, uh, in the whole um, tower as well, which is why Vincent really has to make an effort to actually you know get to the top because if he wins it's over for everyone involved no one else will die but yeah he um he has to do it so this is that guy there in the purple suit he is the one with the pink tie that he's the sheep with the pink tie in the uh, tower now let's go ahead and talk to him and let's see if we can. S I heard that dealer died in mysterious deaths lately, and that's why you're scared too. What dealer? Sit down. This lovely couple is Daniel and Anna. Huh? Vince? Vincent Brooks? What? Do I know you? It's me, Daniel. We went to elementary school together. Oh. Uh. What? You don't remember me? Oh. So you're Vincent. You're different from what I imagined. Don't say that. You see, Vincent, I, I'm different from back then. I'm not the one tagging along. Now I'm the leader. I'm the heir to a successful business. A business heir, huh? Because of that. Wait, I heard your voice somewhere. Was it yesterday? I think of it. Maybe I had some premonition of our meeting today. Anyway, I can't believe you don't remember me, man. I'm sorry. You got me. Check phone. Okay, in. That's just a passage of time. Okay, that's just instructions about the game. Congratulations. Ronald Clay, age 32, was found dead today. He's the same age as me. 
So that is one of the guys uh, sharing helpful information. One of the two sheep sharing the information in the uh, in the tower. You seem tired. Please relax in this salubrious bar. Well, how did it go with your girlfriend? I happened to overhear your conversation from here. What do you mean, how did it go? Nothing happened. Nothing yet. Marriage, all in all, is a cowardly method that tries to subdue love through torture. <laughs> to steal a saying from a certain summer. Well, you ask me, the trick to a long-lasting marriage is, frankly, to spend as little time together as... <laughs> okay, that's weird. You got me. In? Are you drinking? I get the stressed sheep. I thought we. Uh, Sorry, no. I'm not drinking. Uh, I do what I feel no. like. Sorry. Send message. Ah, oh, that was a slight boost. So I am trying to get the ultimately good ending. I mean, even the bad ending is really good as well. It's the middle range that's kind of dodgy. But if I'm going straight for the, um, you know, the hardcore or the bar all the way to the right to get that ending, and I believe that's when you marry Catherine in the bar, no less. I believe that when Catherine sends you the um the other Catherine, the one he's cheating with, when she sends you a pick, you can go into the bathroom and examine it. Oh, there's a, there was a poster in the background for the space flights. He's gonna look like a sheep. He's gonna look like a sheep, isn't he? That's I. You get it, right? <laughs> Stage tonight is the Inquisition. Hurry up! You'll be judged there. Am I seeing things? I don't recall that from the video game. First time I played this bitch. So this is the arcade game that the bartender base the actual uh, you know the climbing thing on and that's quite fascinating yes so Vincent's already had a drink which is why his hands are in his pockets now I'm not gonna which means that when he climbs a tower it's gonna be slightly harder to climb it because he's already had an, um, an alcoholic beverage of sorts so we just have to um, not drink anymore because the more we drink the harder it's gonna be Now I'm going to leave this bitch and I'm going to get started because quite frankly it's getting a little boring. <laughs> Dick. So the Inquisition, that sounds fascinating. So this is what, night four? Vincent? 
Vincent's room. He's had a few more beers. A couple more refresh ones. And he still smokes. You shouldn't smoke in your apartment. Stay the same. Oh, but I plan to go back to work after having the baby. We'll just have to split up the housework, okay? You can't throw your clothes everywhere anymore. You're going to have to watch yourself from now on. You know what I mean, right? So he's just. Oh man, he is wasted. And out. So he's just sitting there, getting drunk, thinking about what's he gonna do. Oh, he's actually got a um, a poster of the space flights, the advertisement for in his um, for the space flights in his bedroom. They're really, you know, you know, pushing that. Yep. Tonight's stage is the Inquisition, where one is tried based on the weight of his sins. So that could mean the worse you are, the harder it's going to be. Once again, I really only played this game a couple times, and that was when it first came out. So, it's just been sitting there gathering dust in my video game collection for some time now. First floor of the Inquisition, stage floor. Use the properties of falling blocks to wisely climb the wall that stands before you. Use the properties of falling blocks to... Okay. So, this one we have to actually remove blocks in order to make others fall so that you can climb. This is going to be a little bit more tricky. What is this place? Oh, Shiza. Those are people I killed. I'm a horrible person. I killed them! I'm assuming that we need to do four. So just three. I'm already halfway up the bloody thing. It seems to be. I think that's a woman in the background. I have to pull all of these out. Oh crap! I just made some sh stuff fall. So I guess the first level is so easy and short because they really just want me to get, you know, used to this concept of pulling stuff out and making stuff fall. Thank you, Mr. Pello. You have to be pretty desperate to get that little extra bit of gold. Yep, that's a woman. Some sort of woman judge. Should be a gold. You climbed this far? So the sheep are really fat. I mean, we saw those two sheep and they were like huge. Now, I don't know if they're just fat people in real life. I think they are. Because this is a police officer who's actually investigating 
um, this is a spoiler, but this police officer is actually investigating the people dying, thinking that perhaps it's a murder. And he's, you know, he went to the stray sheep, and uh, now he's here because he was cheating on his wife or something. I think this is the another example of one becoming corrupted. You know, he's he's becoming twisted every night. He's going nuts, and I think that's just a prime example of that. So if we talk to him, he should be a little crazy because of his massive horns. There was nothing I could do. If I hadn't pushed those sheep, I'd be. I understand how you feel, but you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. But I'm starting to enjoy it. I know it's wrong. But I can't stop myself from pushing. Really? Oh, that's pretty messed up. Hey, listen, I thought of a great way to climb. Allow me to explain the wall spider. Oh, that's a trampoline one. It's a beginner level skill, but don't forget it when faced with a challenging skill. Think about it, isn't it? Then would this work too? Allow me to explain the corner spider. Try moving block. When I'll tell the others. So I don't know who that one with the tie. The one with the green jacket on was the one sitting in the bar. That's his associate. And I don't think I've met that one just yet. Uh, I don't know who that one. Oh, that's. I think the one with the tie was the original one who was helping us. If you make it to the top, you'll earn your freedom. Have your. It's strange. I promise the man who survives will have his wish granted. That's. It's just a rumor. Leaving that stuff alone. Going for stuff like that only makes sense. Do you know what's going on, man? Do you know what's going on? I wonder if I'm in this because I was associating with a younger crowd. Do you have a wife? Yes, a wonderful woman who doesn't suspect anything about her cheating. Oh, I'm grateful. Cheating is the sign of a better man. All the women flock around the superior males. Sexual selection dictates that women prefer stronger mates to father their children. My father, he was a shitty good for nothing. He might have appeared good to me. Huh? Er, uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Yo, we were waiting for you. Huh? Me? You're an amazing climber. We we're talking about techniques. Wanna join in? Sure. Then I'll start off with the technique I came up with. Allow me to explain the cutup. One block after another. It's important to record. Not bad, huh? Oh, wait a sec. Then... Allow me to explain the cut across. Who's this dick? Damn it! Hey, you. Me? What? It is you. You taught me a lot before. It's me. Well, 
I didn't see you yesterday, so I thought you were done for. I won't die. Not until I see her again. Wait. Is your family down here? Yeah, right. Don't you get it? It's only men that get thrown down here. What? Why are you worrying about other people? Save your own ass and get out of here. So he's talking about another woman. I should get going soon. Let's talk to these fat people. Men hate the women who love them and are attracted to women who don't. Oh, it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing. Okay. I'm sorry. Get a hold of yourself. I. Whenever I look up. Oh, my head. It's a him. Oh, that dude's crazy. What's this dude? I can't go on. I'm gonna die. Yes, you can. Even if it sucks, you're still getting closer and closer. Yeah. I didn't learn those techniques for nothing. I'm gonna keep working. I should get going soon. Was that really Vincent? Me. Yeah. Why would he appear just when I'm going through a tough time? He doesn't even remember me. If I've been doing all these years. Hey, hey. So it looks like this guy idolized, uh, idolized Vincent, and Vincent didn't even remember him. Ouch. If you want an item, only have some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a block in front of you. The belt changes the blocks around you into normal blocks. You can give me this one. Alright, let's... I'm going to go ahead and save it. So this is day four. There are... was it? Three towers. Two ones... Uh, two where it's just... The bottom of it sort of disintegrates. And the fourth one... Uh, and the third one you get chased by a big-ass monster of your own creation. Okay, we'll sit down. What has he got for me? Here you are, lost lamb. You're quite good to get through that wall. Now, this is the question. This is the fifth question. When you go on a date, do you choose your dates based on appearance or personality? Obviously, appearance is bad. But I'm going to say mine because... you choose. I'm beginning to understand you. Now, this is the fourth. Once you're past this, you'll be halfway through. Finally. Night after night. I wish you'd go easy on me. It's too bad. You're the one who tried to take someone else's future first. Think. Whose future are you about to steal away? What you're trying to say. <laughs> I believe that's Catherine, the one he's dating. The one he's been dating for some time now. The one who's pregnant. I'd say, yeah, that's that. Is that... You know, because he can't commit, he can't settle down, he can't make up his mind. I'd say a lot of people are lying. Huh? Oh, it would appear that there's only one. Okay, so it looks like it's just this one. I thought that there was three. Okay, this is the final area. Okay. They must have cut it down. But it looks like the next stage, night, which is night five, has two more steps. Uh, has two steps and not just a one step like we do. A steep face is in your path. Stay calm and take it step by step. Let's climb. Now who...
Oh, that's not good, is it? I've got to go on the other side. And he just... He just squashed me like a bug. So I just went to the left. So I have to memorize that. And stick to the right. I'm thinking, you know, in my mind, the faster I move, the faster I can get away from this creature. But that's not how it works. The faster I move, the faster the babies, you know, creeps up behind me. They will always stay a certain distance behind me. And I'm basically screwed. I don't know what to do. I've still got that place of block thing. I could still use that. I should have done that. I should have done that. That would have worked. I completely spaced out that I've got that block thing and I could have used that. And I would have been fine. baby looks like that's a soda I think that and I think there's an energy drink designed to help you move faster so he knocks you off that if he if he hits you with his spit There she is. I mother f did it. All right. It's gone!
Yep, that was my push. Let's just see what happens in the next cutscene and then I'm going to end the episode. Also earned a trophy. Chest, <laughs> you know, manly. <laughs> huh? Your chest? Really? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, uh, it's it's that. But you know, when sometimes a long white hair grows on your body, it, it's good luck. But this is like really long. Yeah, I was growing it out. It just fell out by itself. <laughs> good thing too. It's bad luck if you pull it out yourself. You know. Oh, really? It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, I'm going to die right here. Hey, hey, hey. knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die, or I kill you. Which would be better? Take. Come on, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! to cover up his lie. Okay, I trust you. Thanks. Computer says no. God, she's scary like this. Is she gonna pull a knife on me one day or something? Oh no, there is no one day. I've got to do something about this relationship. I'm not going to ask you about the past. It doesn't matter. But, from now on, if you ever cheat on me, I'll be angry. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, Get that, do you? Whoa, 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 wait, hold on. 
What the heck? Why is this locked? Unchain this door. Uh, sure. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. Mm -hmm. The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh. <sighs> Vincent, what is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. Maybe I should at least say hello. He gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... <coughs> huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Now go! Hey. <laughs> Sorry, really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells. You know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. He just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Thank you. Well, come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Yum. Owen, I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. See ya. The cutscenes are longer than the gameplay. I I I didn't re you know realize that. They're just they're longer than the gameplay. The guy was, uh, you know. Shut up, asshole! And just give me some toilet paper, please. Well, quit mumbling. I can't concentrate in here. Still, this girl. Look, girl. Hey, what are you looking at in there? I want to see. can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. Well, that's going to be the end of the episode. This is all just BS from here. Don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. 
Well, if she is pregnant. Hang on, let me see if I can. Pause. Okay, yeah, so this is the end of the episode. Like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, write something in the comments. Catch you later, YouTube.